Guys. Houston's Helpful Hits is brought to you by Jimmy Houston's High Tech Performance Fishing Rod. You know a wacky worm is one of those techniques that was uh, developed, I think, really by accident. I actually met the guy in New Jersey, uh, I believe it was New Jersey where he lived, uh, New Jersey or Maine or somewhere up there in uh, some of those Yankee states, uh, that invented the wacky worm. And I asked him, I said, let me ask you a question. I said, did you invent this wacky worm because you didn't know how to really rig a worm and you just stuck a hook through there and you throwed it out there and started catching fish? Or did you just really come up with this technique? And he swears to me that he came up with this technique. And I'm going to tell you what, if he did, he's an absolute genius because it's a tremendous way to fish. And the secret behind a wacky wig, of course, is it's an open hook situation. Now you can fish it with or without this little split ring. Some of the worms that you use, you can actually use a, a split ring like we use on a uh, on a spinnerbait blade. Take that split ring, which is metal, makes it a little bit heavier, makes it sink a little bit more, and, and slide it up over, and, and you slide your hook through this. On a, a little bit fatter bait, like a yum dinger, you need to use this rubber uh, O-ring. The upper O-ring will, of course, stretch a little bit and allow you to, to uh, swing it up there. Uh, a lot of times, I will move down even to a smaller hook. I'll move down to like a little trout hook or a, a number one or a number two-aught stinger hook, something like this. Now, I've got a, a, a two-aught Daiichi on there, which is a fairly decent size hook, but uh, you can you can use a black hook if you've got really crystal clear water, but the red hook, even though that after a while you lose all your red on there, the red hook actually works to attract. But this bait seems to work best when you have clear water before the fish go on the beds. Now it'll work during the spawn, it'll work a little bit after the spawn, but wacky rig seems to work best before the fish go on the bed. Anytime you encounter a situation where you're seeing fish cruise around a little bit. Uh, in other words, they're not sort of staying in one spot or another, but you see them cruising. That's the time you want to pull a yum dinger out, get you a little hook, get you a little rubber O-ring or a split ring, wacky rig that rig. Jimmy, I think we have